Hello and welcome to JST. Today we are going to see about Ramsat 8 image classification using ArcGIS with the help of supervised image classification algorithm methods. So in the previous lesson we have learned that how to uh, combine or composite Landsat 8 images and partial print images with ArcGIS for better visualization and classification purpose. So what we have to do is that uh, firstly you have to download Landsat 8 from USGS as Explorer by creating account download these images uh, Landsat 8 images which contains 11 bands. So what you have uh, to do is that uh, you have to add these partial print images and, and right click here then you have to tick on image classification uh, you have to tick on image classification then image cla the classification is uh, toolbar is um, appear here then the target layer is a partial print image then uh, this is a training sample manager what you have to do is uh, firstly, uh, set your number of land to land cover classes. In my case, for example, it is 5. I will classify 5 land to land cover classes. In your case, it may be 5. It will, for detailed classification, it may be 12, uh, 13, 14, or uh, whatever, you know, based on your uh, purpose of study. Uh, for uh, supervised image classification, uh, prior knowledge of your study area or your project area is very important of course expert judgment in this classification methodology is uh, very essential as much as possible uh, you have to take much amount of samples in order to accurately classify your number of uh, land to land cover types let us uh, go to the actual uh, work firstly i will uh, uh, select my uh, my draw types for example let me let me let me select this uh, polygon click on uh, training sample manager then this uh, window comes uh, when you click one sample then uh, it will appear here so firstly let me let me delete this uh, so I have uh, select this polygon. So first, let me take samples from this red color. This red color means in the first color composite. This red color means vegetations. That means it absorbs uh, near infrared. Then when it absorbs near infrared, the color becomes uh, red. So let me take samples from this red side that means vegetation so let me uh, just click here just click here yes let me take from this yes let me take also from this as much as possible please zoom your yes Is enough 25 samples so here it is merge training samples here it is split take samples so i will merge because uh, this is this uh, will become one land is land record type that is vegetation so i will merge all these uh, samples by selecting uh, all uh, these uh, training samples so let me select all of it all of them then just click merge training samples yes class name means visitation so color okay, it is okay no problem then let me take the second class for example if you see uh, this band color composite for land satellite for example in order to identify land and water i will uh, use the combination of 564 so let me 
let's change this as five, six, and four. Then the, the answer body becomes clearly available. So let me, this is the water body. So let me take samples, delete, you can't take samples, yes, twenty one samples, so let me select this, let me merge, merge, so class this is what I'm putting water body uh, value let me two water body let me make this one now the third one is that agriculture this is group land this is group land Okay, we are finished. Samples taken from crop plants. So let me merge this one by selecting all samples. Let me rename this as agriculture. Yes. So agriculture seems to this let me make this one. The next one is settlement uh a few built up urban centers. Let me uh, make them as uh, to settlement. This is the town. I think this is enough because this is for training purpose and demonstration purpose. So let me merge this to this. And the last one is Berland. This is Berland. You have to correctly identify each land is land cover type when you work your research or your project. This is for demonstration purpose or this is for training purpose. So you have to the more you take the sample the more you uh, become uh, accurate your classification so please take as much as possible much amount of samples so i think it is enough let me merge this to and bearland example let me make this as read settlement water body this one okay so bearland becomes this one okay. after this let me save the training samples create signature file let me select okay save okay 
then I have saved the signature file so let me close this then go to the classification then click on maximum likelihood classification then the input raster must be the pan sharpened image the input signature must be this uh, pan sharpened Nature. Okay. Then leave other things as it is. Simple signature file I have inserted. The output class file raster. The place where you want to, to save your output result. In this case, I will accept the default. Pause and just click OK. The classification algorithm is now running so it will it takes some time okay great uh, one is forest okay forest two water body this one great three Brookland for settlement five Bayland. You can rename this as land use and use land cover. Okay, great. Let us open our attribute table. Let us add field. Land use land cover. The type becomes text. Okay. So it, let me click on edit tab. Start editing. Then number one vegetation. Number two, water body. Number three, agriculture. Number four, settlement. And number five, petland. So this is land is land cover type. You can uh, calculate easily the percentage and the area coverage as well. We will take representative samples from each land use land cover types. When it becomes supervised image classification, expert judgment, and prior knowledge about the study area of the project area is very important. By considering these processes, you can easily uh, classify images in ArcGIS. So this is what we have today. But if you are uh, new to this YouTube channel, you can uh, share, uh, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.